today. I ain't tripping. Left my belt in the house. I think it's in the garage. I'm gonna have to go get that. I'm gonna have to go back in the house and grab that. Thought I was gonna come out here and make this video, jump in the truck, go to work. More time. Look, check this out. Check this out. I don't know who need to hear this. Nobody really want to see you make it. Nobody really want to see you win. Um, telling everybody your plans outside of your social media channel. <laughs> Nobody really cares, bro. Nobody really cares. The truth is, people are surprised that you are making it. Ran into a guy the other day. He said, oh man, how you been there going, man? Did you ever go full time? I said, yeah, I'm doing a little something. I ain't even getting the detail with him. Because like, what's the point? <laughs> you know, what's the point? And look, check this out last night I was had to run to the store for something for my family and it was this guy in there he had just done 17 years in prison I was just listening I didn't engage in the conversation he said man when I went in everybody was on my space he said my space was the thing when he went in and next hell chirps he said when I get out he just got out, like, probably a month ago. He said, when I got out, everybody on TikTok. So he said he got him a channel discussing, you know, what he went through. And and I went to his page. He was saying, he done 17 years. He committed a crime. I, I didn't scroll enough to find out what crime he committed. But he put 17 years into the system because he wanted to be a street dude, follow his friends. You know what's funny? I grew up with people wanted to be street dudes. I grew up with people, mom and daddy was in the house, got a vehicle at 16, <laughs> but you want to be a street dude. See, I grew up in the hood. That's not a brag, that's not a, yeah, I grew up in the hood. Like, man, I grew up in that environment, but I didn't understand I was growing up in that environment because I had a loving mother and father. But we just, we just didn't have much. But with that being said, it was people who had much who wanted to come to where I lived because where I live is kind of like a big, not a big city, but it's like you got the north side, south side, east side, and the west side. And we stayed on the east side, also known as Creole, K-Town. And when I tell you it was people who didn't live over here, mom and dad in the house, vehicle at 16, money in your pocket, <laughs> to where you didn't have to go get a job, you want to come over here and hang out in the hood then be considered a street dude. <laughs> like, bro, if that's your preference, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. I ain't, that ain't what I wanted. And what I'm saying, like buddy that done them 17 years, like, man, we don't feel sorry for you, bro. Like, you made that decision to do what it is you done. Oh, man, I, I got caught up and I was just a kid. Yeah, you got caught up and you was just a kid. But now what? Where are your friends at that you were running the streets with at 17? Where they at? You know who you got left now? Your mother and father. <laughs> your mother and father who pushing 70. So why I work like I work? Because I love it. I enjoy it. I got a family to provide for. And I, like I said before, I say it again. Nobody really cares what it is you got going on. You think people do, they don't. Nobody care what you got going on, man. Even some of the people 
even some of the people you think care, man, they don't care what you got going on. I, I understand that. A lot of people don't understand that. So, I need to gas this truck up, put my belt on. I'm trying to put my belt on. Like, it is people who want to see me fail in business. But what they don't understand is, see, when I go get this job in the winter, I might go get a job in the winter anyway to keep everything pushing. People love it when I do that because they like, because like I told y'all, 2023, I'm my first year out the gate full time. So when I went and grabbed that job over this course of the winter, I knew he shouldn't have left. I knew he shouldn't have left. <laughs> That's what everybody was saying. She, I knew, I, this is what I heard through the grapevine. Uh, yeah, see? See? What does that smell? Oh, see, see? He going back to get a job. I knew he shouldn't have left. I knew he shouldn't have left. Let me roll these windows down and clean them off. Yeah, see, I knew he shouldn't have left. I knew he shouldn't have left. But what you have to understand is the guy that is willing to take a chance and bet on himself, that guy's going to always come out on top. And I said this before and I'll say it again. A man that's on a construction job and is willing to work seven days a week, 12 hours a day, that guy really need his own business because he don't mind putting in the work because he want money. He want the money. Now, I thought I paid to get that fixed, but hey, that little clicking noise, I thought I paid to get that fixed, but hey, we here now. But what, I, what, I'm, what I'm getting at is nobody cares what it is you're doing. They just want to see the outcome. They want to see, man, is this man going to make it with his business or is he going to fail? I want to see him fail. It's only maybe. It, outside of my wife and children, outside of my wife and children, it's only like a handful of people who really want to see you succeed. I'm going to say that again. Outside of my wife and children, you know, your parents want to see you succeed. Now, this goes for siblings and everything. Outside of your mother and father and your wife and kids, because if you succeed, your wife and kids succeed. If you succeed when your parents get older, they know you'll take care of them. So outside of those people, including your siblings, outside of everybody else, including your siblings, there's only a handful of people want to see you succeed. And they're not going to, they're not going to admit that, but that's what it is. So, and they want to be right. See, I knew he should have, he should have, bruh, that company you going to clock in and work for was somebody who took a chance to start something. And I, I said it before, I said it again, there's nothing wrong with working a job. I'm going to be working a job probably in November, December. Probably be December, I'm going to go get a job in December. There's nothing wrong with a job. I just want, I, I want y'all to understand those companies that you believe in, that you put your faith in 100%, somebody took a chance and started the company. And therefore, now you have a job. So listen, man, press through whatever it is you're trying to do. Keep your mouth shut, your head down, and just grind. And I promise, look, I don't care. I'm gonna put, I'm, I'll put it on social media. I just won't have this conversation with nobody else because people will think you bragging and arrogant. I, when I was doing that pine straw job yesterday, it was a guy, it was a, it was a company working next door. The guy had pulled up with like a flatbed trailer with a bunch of lumber. It was a navy blue F-250. It was a diesel though. He pulled up when he was backing that trailer in, it caught my eye. I looked at that truck. This is what I told myself when I looked at that truck. I said, bro, I'm gonna get me a new F-250. Well, man, I thought you said you wanted a 350. Steps, baby. Steps, baby girl, steps. Get the new F-250 first. Then later on, get the 350. Or I might just jump out the gate and get the 350. I don't know yet. It's either the 250 or the 350. I, I really want the 350 later on in business. So I looked at that 250. I said, bro, I'm going to have one of those trucks. I said, bro, I'm going to have 
one of those trucks. Now I say to myself, bro, that's a thousand a month. And then I said to myself, bro, that's really nothing. That's 250 a week. I said, bro, that is 250 a week. That's a thousand a month. That's really not nothing. And in business, look, I understand a business owner riding around in a thousand dollar a month truck. I, I get it. I didn't before, but I get it. Either you gonna spend it or Uncle Sam won't it. Now you going to punch a clock. You shouldn't be riding around in a thousand dollar a month truck. You can if you making that kind of money. That's your business. So I said, man, bro, I'm gonna have one of them trucks. And I just got back to work. And I didn't call no, hey man, look, hey, I'm gonna be getting a new truck. Nah, I already wrote that down. I wrote that down, something that I'm I'm working towards. And I put the, it through the key away. That's, that's up here. That's up here, that's happening. Well, when is happening? I don't know. I'm not trying for it to happen this year or next year. I'm trying to, I'm trying to put some bread up. But that's what I'm, yeah, listen to this. Buddy feeling good this morning. But look, what I'm trying to get you to see, you can do anything you put your mind to as long as you keep the Lord first. Keep the Lord first. You can do anything you put your mind to. Anything. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. And look, remember this. The people that you the people that you thought so much of, give it five years, see if you still gonna have that same feel. Bro, it's people, I'm telling you, it's people I grew up with, people I knew. I used to hold them in such high regards. Today, bro, I don't hold you in those same high regards. I really don't. I'm just not going to tell you I don't, but, bro, I really don't care what you got going on. But, look, let me go, man. Let me pull up, unload this pine straw, catch y'all on the next one.